Hey, this is Andrew Reverso with Impact Soundworks, and today I'm going to show you our newest sample library, Cinematic Synthetic Drums. The idea of this library is to provide a useful toolkit of 100% synthesized percussive hits, drops, sweeps, and drones. There's virtually no sampled material at all. All of these hits were created using analog, FM, uh, digital, wavetable, all different kinds of synthesis and processing to create the sounds that you're going to hear. So let's check it out. You can see here on the interface that everything is in one patch. Uh, you can of course create multiple instances. We've got some useful effects key switches, um, some useful uh, EQ and limiting tools right there, an ensemble maker, and then tuning and volume, which is both on a per drum and global basis. So let's just check it out. Each octave is mapped to a different kind of hit. So for example, this octave here, The next octave is snare hits. Then we have hats, thips, uh, little kind of beep type sounds that are useful for 16th note sequencing. In the lowest octaves, we have drops. And then in the very lowest octave, there's uh, textural sounds, drones. Some of these were created using uh, rendered sequences from the library, and others draw from acoustic material from some of the other Impact Soundworks libraries like Impact Steel, Resonance, and some upcoming projects. So let's check out some of those. As you can hear, every key has a unique sound. If I go to the kick octave, and let's say I play G, it's a simple sort of 808 kick. Um, I can control the volume and tuning of just that kick, and you can see the drum name is Retro Kick. Now, if I adjust the tuning here, and then I play another note, you can see that kick has its own tuning. Of course, we can reset those values back to normal. There are global values as well, so if you want to, for example, take all of your sweeps down, That's no problem. So very useful for sound design, lots of possibilities there. Um, the Ensemble Maker is a useful tool, particularly for the, uh, the hi-hat and the thip kind of sounds, but also for the snare hits. So let's take, for example, this sound, Tyranno Slam. This is one of my favorites. Um, this is actually purely noise, but with a lot of unique processing to give it a very punchy tone, like a drum ensemble. Oh, whoops, let's reset the global thing here. The Ensemble Maker uses the round robins as well as uh, tuning and delay to make it sound like there are actual multiple recordings going on at the same time. The tightness knob controls the, uh, the timing slop of the sound. You can also control the number of voices. And again, each one of these voices uses a unique round robin sample but it's also doing changes to the, uh, the tuning slightly and then of course the delay. So you're getting a very realistic ensemble sound. The spread knob controls the stereo spread of the voices. Again, pretty straightforward. So now let's check out some of the effects key switches, which are up at the top here in red. 
Um, basically, these trigger effects in real time. So let's say you have a kick sound. You can use uh, tools like distortion, amplification, bit crushing, rotator cabinet, and then phasing. So that's great for real-time playing. Uh, you can also use the FX key latch control, which means you only have to tap the key switch once, and it'll stay on until you tap the note again. The limiter is a simple built-in limiter. Not too exciting, but useful if you don't want to take up spaces in your host mixer. EQ Excite adds some extra bass and treble. So let's say you have a nice snare sound like this. or before and after with a kick like this. And when combined with the ensemble controls, you can get some very big sounds. So anyway, there you have it, Cinematic Synthetic Drums. Uh, it's a pretty small library, less than 200 megabytes total, but uh, I've found it very useful in my own work already. I hope you'll enjoy it, and the best part, this is 100% completely free, absolutely free. And if you don't have contact, you can always take the waves from the library. They're open to edit, load them up into the sampler of your choice, mangle them, have fun with it. Additionally, you can edit the patch. We've uh, left all of this open. You can edit the programming and you can even edit the script if you're so inclined. So if you wanna add your own functionality or tweak the existing functionality, you'll find that everything is laid out in a pretty easy to understand way. So. Uh, we hope you'll enjoy Cinematic Synthetic Drums, as well as our new website, which either has already launched or will be launching very shortly, depending on when you watch this video. Once again, this is Andrew Aversa, and enjoy the sounds.